Hi, this is Jane at Green Side Up. Today we're going to talk about pesticides. The difference between a contact pesticide and a systemic pesticide. Specifically, well, pesticides can be any kind of a pest. So you can have insects, which is what we're going to talk about. It could also be um, rodents, uh, mites, other types of pests. Specifically, I will be discussing insecticides, which come under the broad pesticide umbrella. So the pesticides or insecticides that I'm going to discuss is contact insecticide versus systemic. Here's how I explain it to people. If I get a little cut on my arm and I take some topical antibiotic and put on that, you know, put some ointment on there, that would be considered a topical well, if it was an insecticide, a topical insecticide. It's something that you just put on and it doesn't last for a real long time. If I go to the doctor because I have a sore throat and he gives me an antibiotic because say I have strep, I take that antibiotic by mouth and it goes into my whole system and it makes me well. That would be considered systemic. It's the same kind of principle with your plants. So I'm going to show you just a few products that we have just to illustrate and then we're going to talk a little bit about when and why you would use them. All right, first of all, this is an insecticidal soap. An insecticidal soap would be considered a topical. You use the insecticidal soap to kill an insect that you can see. This insecticidal soap may have a little bit of residual effect. It might last on the plant, maybe till it's watered, three days, a week maybe, and then it goes away. You'd have to use it again if you see that insect again. Okay. This is considered a systemic. The systemic houseplant product, I will sprinkle this on the top, on the soil of my plant. It takes a few days for it to get into the system of the plant because it usually goes into the root system. Once it's in the root system, it's like that um, antibiotic that we took. It is now in the entire system and it affects the entire system. If you have a systemic insecticide on your plant and now you have a bug that comes and starts eating on that plant, it will kill the bug. The bug, that bug dies and it can no longer um, reproduce because, well, it's dead. So there are different reasons that you would use one kind over another. In the greenhouse where I work, I will often use a type of a systemic plant on my plants and I don't want bugs in my greenhouse and so I have treated the plants in the greenhouse with the systemic for the purpose of killing all the bugs that are in there. If I have a plant that is going to be going outside with flowers on it, so say like at home I maybe wintered some type of a plant and eventually it's going to go back outside. A lot of times I would not put a systemic on that kind of a plant. Here's the reason why. A systemic is going to kill any kind of insect that comes to it. If I have a plant that's going to get flowers on it, say a hibiscus. I've wintered my hibiscus. It doesn't have flowers in the house, but when I put it outside in the summertime, it's going to have flowers. And what's going to come to those flowers? Bees, different pollinators. I don't want that systemic in my plant killing off those pollinators, those kinds of insects that I really do want to keep. So you have to kind of think that way when you're treating with a systemic. Um, this past summer here in North Carolina, we had a lot of aphids on our um, crepe myrtle trees. Now you could do a systemic and it would kill those aphids on the crepe myrtles but it would also kill the good insects that are coming to the crepe myrtles. And so you have to make that decision. Do you want to just get rid of those bad insects or might there be another way that you could treat this plant and not endanger your good insects? Say that you've got a vegetable garden. You've got beans in it. And you've got some little bugs on your beans, okay? You're not going to use the systemic because you're going to be eating those beans and you certainly don't want to be eating insecticide. But if you don't treat that plant, the bugs, whatever they are, are going to eat up all your bean plants. So then you can use a topical. 
It's only going to be on that plant for a period of time and then it's going to go away. It's going to be washed away and it would be safe to eat those beans. However, always, always look at your product label and make sure that it is safe for whatever the plant is that you're using it on. So if you want to use something on vegetables, make sure that it says it's safe to use on edible plants. I have here a product, it is called a fruit tree spray. If you have fruit trees, always make sure that you use a product that is safe for your fruit trees. And there, um, here at our store we have a couple different, uh, different kinds of products that are safe to use on fruit trees. Again, you're going to be consuming that fruit. You don't want to be eating something that is hazardous to your health. Kind of defeats the purpose. If you have any questions about insecticides or other types of questions that have to do with gardening, um, we're here at Green Side Up. We'd be happy to help you with your questions. You can call, you can come on in. We'd be happy to show you what we've got in our store and in our greenhouse. This is Jane at Green Side Up, wishing you a good day.